we will be discussing the innervation of the tongue. In this image, we have the different muscles of the tongue. In green, we have the extrinsic muscles, which act to move the tongue. And in red, we have one of the intrinsic muscles. All of the muscles, both extrinsic and intrinsic, are innervated by the hypoglossal nerve, or cranial nerve number 12. And the only exception to that rule is the palatoglossus muscle, which is innervated by the vagus nerve, or cranial nerve 10. So this image, we have the dorsum surface of the tongue. You can see that the tongue is divided. You have the root one-third, which is the posterior one-third. And then you have the body, which is the anterior two-thirds. And it's essentially divided by the sulcus terminalis. So a good way to remember what innervates the posterior third of the tongue is to take the P and when you flip the P around, it looks like a nine. This way you can remember that it's cranial nerve nine or the glossopharyngeal nerve. And this provides sensory and taste innervation to this region of the tongue. Here we have the anterior two thirds of the tongue and a good way to remember what innervates this part of the tongue is to flip the A upside down, which looks like a V. And then when you take the two and bring it to this side of the V as Roman numerals, you get V with the two lines and that's seven. And then you take the three and you bring it over here and that gives you V3. So you have the facial nerve, which is cranial nerve seven, and that provides taste sensation to the anterior two thirds. And then you have V3, which is the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve and that provides general sensation. Specifically, it's the chordate tympani of the facial nerve that provides the taste sensation, and it's the lingual nerve of the mandibular division that provides the general sensation. So just a quick recap, you have the anterior two-thirds, which are shown in the red and purple boxes, and it's the lingual nerve and the chordate tympani that are innervating that portion. And then the posterior third, which is innervated by glossopharyngeal nerve, and then you have the hypoglossal nerve, which innervates the entire tongue, 